guys i hope you're all doing okay um i hope you can hear me because it's a little windier than i anticipated so if you guys remember last week i spoke about emotions and how they've been very up and down lately but a very consistent one has been fear i began to struggle with anxiety around the age of 15 or 16. i was really bad at maths when i was in high school and i didn't have the greatest of teachers so my confidence was knocked really badly and eventually everything just started to spiral i also left school with a failed a level to begin with so i had to take a gap year to resit it and in my gap year my anxiety just followed me and that's when i began to get ill because i was so stressed out um, i struggled with eating i went through loads of blood tests at the doctors because they all thought that i might be gluten intolerant or have like a wheat allergy or something um, until eventually my doctor couldn't really find any evidence of that and she just said that she thought my stomach cramps were due to stress i stopped drinking enough i started to get bladder infections um, I actually sat one of my recent exams with a bladder infection and it was the worst experience of my life. I remember there was one afternoon where I was just so anxious, I just couldn't shake it off and my boyfriend actually had to hold my hair back whilst I was throwing up. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and nowadays we always laugh about that day but when you think about it seriously it's not actually that funny because it shows how much anxiety can damage you if you let it have a hold in your life and as some of you know i'm a healthcare worker so working in healthcare in the middle of a pandemic is not the most ideal situation and i've slowly started to feel that worry creeping in again but before i've allowed worry to consume me again jesus has really been reminding me of a story that i held on to during the worst times for anxiety um, i'm going to read you guys the full scripture because it will help you understand the context of the verse that i'm giving you this week the story takes place in matthew 8 verses 23 to 27 it says they all got into a boat and began to cross over to the other side of the lake and jesus exhausted fell asleep Suddenly, a violent storm developed with waves so high the boat was about to be swamped. Yet Jesus continued to sleep soundly. The disciples woke him up, saying, Save us, Lord, we're going to die. But Jesus reprimanded them. Why are you gripped with fear, he said. Where is your faith? Then he stood up and rebuked the storm and said, Be still. And instantly it became perfectly calm. The disciples were astonished by this miracle and said to one another, Who is this man? Even the wind and the waves obey his word. And what stands out to me every time in that story is that Jesus actually asks the disciples, why are you gripped with fear? As in, he can't even comprehend why they're anxious. His disciples were so focused on their fear that they missed the very fact Jesus was in the boat with them. I think what this shows us is that anxiety and faith were not meant to go together. They can't match up because they can't connect. The bigger your anxiety is, the less your faith can flourish. Fear might be filling the world at the moment with the coronavirus, but that doesn't mean it has to fill our hearts. So I really hope this encouraged you guys and reminded you not to allow your panic to make you forget that Jesus is in the boat with you and he will show you that you don't have to fear. Oh, 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 oh,